Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a detector unboxing, like an actual unboxing instead of a regular demo. But, um, that's what I have today. So, this is a detector that I've been waiting on. Um, so let's go ahead and unbox it and see what we got. If I can get my knife open. This might take two hands. Oh my god. Okay, I got it. So, I may need, I may need two hands to do this as well, because this knife isn't as sharp as it used to be. Oh, maybe I got it. Okay, there's one side. I know this is probably not the safest way to do it because the knife could slip and go right through my finger here, but I'm trying to be careful and not put too much pressure on it. Okay. If the box would like stay in one place, that would be nice. Okay, there. Now we gotta cut through the middle. Once again, not the safest way to do this, but the sacrifices I make to have everything on camera. Okay, so that looks to be about good. Yep. Alright. So, what have we got here? A Vigilante. The Entronic Vigilante. Model ES3. Now I had mentioned this detector in my last video of the ES7, this one right here, and as you can see, the box is about as big as the unit. So um, it's still in its plastic wrap, so let's take that off. It's kind of sad because it's such an old detector and I'm essentially destroying its sort of new in box nature, I guess, but once again, the sacrifices I make, there's a plastic wrap, and then it should just open, yep, and there it is, it's in like a holder, kind of like the old 80s first alerts. I can't even get it out. Okay. And there it is. Mounting hardware in there. Oh, and it just fell right out. So, wow. It's a lot smaller than I expected it. Um, so, yeah. This is the Entronic Vigilante ES3. This is the successor to the ES7 series, I guess, the ones that, with this design. And as you can see, it's a lot smaller. Like I said, I was not expecting it to be this small. Now, Nathaniel has one of these. He made a video of his. And here's the battery. Oh, it actually came with a Mallory Duracell. Wow. Okay. So, um, for one, I think that Nathaniel's came with an Energizer. Mine came with a Mallory Duracell. Maybe mine is older, cause yeah. But these are uh, these are weird. So these are made by JSNA, uh, which was an electronics company back in seventies, uh, eighties. They're still around today, but they don't make electronics anymore. I think they're like a health systems company now. But yeah, it's made by JSNA, and this version is a little bit different. The JSNA version, the cover came off. This one, the cover is sealed, and um, you actually push the whole cover to test it. So like that, you can see. And now Nathaniel's has a, had a really weird pitch. Uh, so I, I'm I, I kind of um, excited to see what this one sounds like. So there's the sensor right there, and there's the horn. And the horn is just, there's no casing on the horn, it's just the piezo element right there. Um, 
LED in the middle, and then there's the test point, I guess. Circuit test. So let's get a battery and power it up. I have a battery right here. It might might chirp. All right. Put it back in. Okay. Now let's give it a test. Yeah, it sounds just like Nathaniel's. Same weird, low-pitched, continuous piezo. The LED is lit continuously when it's sounding. Weird. This is such a weird detector. I love it. Um, I don't even know how that test button works. It could be there's like a metal, might be a metal thing under the that bar there that pushes on the sensor, but I really don't know. Test it again. If I can get it. So yeah. This is actually the very first, I think, alarm with a continuous piezo that I own. So let's take a look at everything else that came in the box. Like I said, there's the mounting hardware and the old Mallory Duracell. It's in really good condition. It's sealed in the bag. I wonder if it still works. Because if it's sealed, it... Well, test that out later. Um, and then it came with this, California State Fire Marshal. Yeah, the lighting isn't the best here. And the manual. So, here's your manual. Let's see if I can turn the brightness up a little bit. Vigilante Owner's Manual. So if you want to read it, just pause. Actually, the less brightness seems to... The lower brightness seems to uh, make the words, the writing, stand out a bit more, so. Ever Ready and Mallory. Like I said, I, I'll have to rewatch Nathaniel's video, but I swear his came with an energizer. This is cool. Checklist. And this here, that, that's the template. Let's see, that's a warranty registration card. It doesn't mention JSNA in here at all. Um, that's the, this is a template, so the thing is, the cover can't come off, right? But it has keyhole mounting slots, so it's kind of a weird system. So you just, like, use that template to put the screws in the ceiling, and you twist the detector onto those. It's kind of, kind of weird. I don't think I showed you the back of the unit. So... Mirror SIM 241, more than two microcuries, probably only contains one, and Tronic logo down there. So yeah, actually I didn't even show you the entire box either. Um, so, here at the front of the box, that cool design. Very similar to the box of the Z700, the very first Vigilante model, but much smaller. So, utilizes Space Age technology. I wonder if that's a reference to Space Age Electronics. Another fire alarm company. And on the back, 
this gives more information. They like take ep excerpts from the manual. That's pretty cool. Antronic down there. And then Founding Harbor just fell out. <laughs> and then here is the side. It has installation instructions and a diagram. It's a pretty cool drawing there. And this side has where to put it in another diagram of a house. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. They just essentially put the entire manual on the box. Or not all of it, but like the most important parts. All right. So, um, yeah. This is a really, really weird detector. I, we have yet to find a JSNA one, like the original JSNA uh, model. Um, but I kind of would like to, because um, Nathaniel mentioned in his video that the JSNA models had a higher pitch. They sounded more like a standard smoke detector of today. So I'll test it once more. I really like the sound this one makes. The lower frequency, I think, it's definitely a lower frequency. The lower frequency, I think they um, were like, oh yeah, that'll be better to wake up like kids and the elderly because like electromechanical alarms are, be are better for that. Um, so I think that might be what they were going for. Then again, the the horn being captive essentially, not having a, or well, not being captive in a case might affect that. Let's see. Is that a sensitivity adjustment? I do see a sensitivity adjustment in there. If I turn the brightness up, you might be able to see it. It's right in there next to the horn. White knob. And then, yeah. It's pretty cool. A really little tiny unit. So I don't know when this one is from, because I thought it was from, like, the mid to late 80s. But, uh... <laughs> this kind of tells me otherwise because these batteries were from the 70s so unless they were reusing old batteries I really don't know there's no copyright on here um, I have to look up I know Entronic folded in a, the mid 80s or so so this has got to be from sometime around then um, and unlike these which were actually made like made by Entronic themselves like these weren't so they were obviously using different manufacturers at this time they were kind of cheapening so um yeah that is it for this video so that is a quick unboxing and demo of the entronic vigilante es3 and a quick cameo by the es7 so thank you for watching and more to come